Bombas News and arms on our side on our pre-budget show today is Manokaran Motain, Chief Economist at Alliance DBS Research. Now on everybody's lips is the budget 2015. Mano, what do you think will be the main features of this budget? I think the, the coming budget, 2015 budget, is going to be the principles going to be the same. One is growth enhancing, the other one is price stability and the most important thing of all these is fiscal consolidation. In other words, we are targeting our fiscal deficit to re be reduced to 3% by 2015 and a balanced budget by 2020. So the government is uh, will likely to stress it more on this aspect. And the other one is uh, overall uh, it will still be uh, expansionary budget, okay, though the focus is on fiscal consolidation. Now this brings a question on operating expenditure. Mano, the operating expenditure is rising, the development expenditure is falling. Now how do you think the government is going to reconcile the two? But you must also see that your revenue is also increasing every year by 30 billion. And also we look at it in the past. Development expenditure will not change that much because it has already been allocated under the 10 Malaysia plan. So in this case, development expenditure will likely to be about 40, 40 plus billion there. On the operating expenditure, uh, the concern, the key concern is it has been rising uh, over the last few years. If you look at it uh, from uh, um, 2008 until 2012, it was increasing, you know, by almost like an average of around 15% plus. Uh, but the good thing is last two years, it has been sort of like reduced to 3%. If this budget is rather fiscal, don't you think this will be a fiscal balancing act for the government? Yes, it is a fiscal balancing act, okay, with in mind that uh, you cannot jeopardize the benefits for the, the low income group people. That's why I said uh, the saving from the uh, subsidies could be channeled to measures like this. Development, more development. Yeah. How will the government balance the fiscal policies and the monetary policies then? Um, balance the fiscal, uh, fiscal budget through further consolidation of uh, operating expenditure that can be done, okay, and also now for the government to achieve a, a balance on the fiscal uh, deficit, the current prices of crude oil is also positive towards that, you know, it has been dropping to around uh, 90 to 95 now. So we think that the fiscal part is okay. On the monetary side, the, the government is already planning to normalize interest rates, that will help them help the overall government to sort of like moving towards a more efficient and competitive economy. The question on everybody's mind is the supplementary budgets. Now according to brokerage reports, the government has overspent and almost nine-tenths of its overspending comes from the operating expenditure. Now what is your take on the supplementary budgets and what does this mean for us? Okay, look at it this way. Historically, it has been over 10 billion. But if we look at it last year, it has come down around to around 4 billion plus. So this was uh, achievable because of what they allocate and what they spend. In this case, what was allocated under the uh, subsidy earlier was 24 billion. And then the last exercise of uh, trimming uh, um, your subsidy to petroleum products and all that. So as such that uh, prices of petroleum products went up, you know, raised by 20 cents per liter. There, uh, they have saved about 3 billion. And uh, it is true that we, they should not uh, overspend. So something need to be uh, done in terms of controlling your operating expenditure. I will believe some of the measures some of the reforms they want to do, hopefully they have the political willpower to implement it. Right. Thanks Mano. That's Mano Karan's take on what to expect for the budget 2015. For more on the budget, stay tuned with Starbiz.